NEC Front Row welcomes you to the Northeast Conference Semifinals for Men's Soccer. The second matchup of the day is coming right at you as the Colonials of Bobby Morris University take on the St. Francis Brooklyn College Terriers. You know, for the last several years, it's going to stop after this year, but they've scheduled Pitt, which is obviously an ACC Power 5 program. You do that because it's 15 miles down the road. Early shot, and the Terriers score. It's Ali Tunkara, and St. Francis Brooklyn draws first blood. Tunkara with his fifth goal of the season. What experience can you tell your team about and can help you in tournament play? And he said you need to be relaxed. Quick shot and a goal. It's Ali Tunkara with his second goal of the match, and it's 2-0 Terriers. as these two make their appearance for the first time this afternoon. Quick shot, did it go in? Waiting That's for the wow. whistle. No whistle, Sammy Gleagum nearly had the team's third goal of the day. The ball bounced inside the end line, off the top of the crossbar, and then went back into play. Chance for Robert Morris and a diving stop by Bazit Shetto. One timer by Winkle into the hands of Bazit Shetto. And you know, you know that there will be a Brooklyn team going to the NCAA tournament thing. That's it's a fantastic thing for this city and particularly this area. Nice move by Nadim Saki. And his second chance effort is good. Saki with his second goal of the year, and it's three nothing Terriers. There is the icing on top of the cake for St. Francis Brooklyn. And the Terriers are going to the NEC men's soccer championship game. All right, thank you, Matt. I'm joined by Ali Tunkara, who's become a very popular man here on the sideline as he had himself a terrific game. Ali, you scored that first goal so fast. How are you able to see you were going to get that chance? If you need me, I need you. I need All you. Right. Yeah. So he said, "You marked, you marked your goal very fast." Yeah. So how was it? How did you feel? Yeah, we made a good start. Many pressure. And we start, uh, we, made, we start with the good um, mentality, and that was we, we scored uh, fast. And then you got, of course, the second opportunity in the first half as well. And that was another one where you were able to come up with the ball quickly, and that time you created your own shot. So how are you able to recognize that you would be able to get past a couple of defenders and then go get your shot? Il a dit, on a eu une deuxième occasion très très vite. Et il a dit, tu sais quand est-ce que tu dois, tu peux créer des occasions et dribbler des joueurs Three players, it creates a problem. Just a feeling. Uh, when, you, when you play striker, you have to just shoot, try, 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 keep trying. And now I receive the ball, I, I don't reflect, I just try and the ball is in. So I'm happy. All right, now you've got the rematch with LIU Brooklyn coming up on Sunday. Big game with a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. What's it going to take to get that win? We are ready for the game for Sunday. We made a, a good game today, but we have to finish the, the job Sunday. Well, congratulations on the win today. Thank you. We don't need right. you That's your favorite player of the game. No, we don't need them anymore. We'll move over to Coach Giovato. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Coach, you got exactly what you were looking for here today, a chance to gain an advantage early, a chance to play with the lead in front of your home crowd. And really this one went pretty well, but uh, what was Ali able to do in order to create those opportunities? He's clearly a very skilled player, but he really made his presence felt very quickly today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we got him down the ball early in good position with a lot of time, and today he was on target, and, you know, that, that's huge. So, you know, he gets shots on goal. It's very tough to stop. And it seemed like you were able to take Robert Morris's best offensive players really out of what they wanted to do and frustrate them today. So, you know, obviously the offense will grab the headlines today, but what did the defense do to make it as frustrating a day for Robert Morris as it ended up being? Yeah, I mean, you know, Winkle is a key player, and, uh, you know, Key just try to not let him have the ball. And, uh, you know, we just put ourselves in a good position where he wasn't able to get the ball. And as soon as he got the ball, you know, we had two, three guys on him. So that's key. The midfield did a great job today. And your team looked terrific today. So did LIU. Brooklyn looks like a very fitting championship game for this.
this conference in 2017. So when you take a gander at that matchup, you know what they do well, you know what you do well. What will be the things that your team has got to make sure they get done in order to have a chance to go to the NCAAs? Yeah, I mean, they have they have some really key offensive players as well. Hanson, um, you know, Naeem Charles, Joey Barone coming off the bench. I mean, they have a lot of good offensive players, and we're going to have to do what we did today. We're going to have to defend well. When we get our chances, we're going to have to put them on target, and, you know, hopefully the ball goes in. Don't go warm up. We'll see you on Sunday. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. All right. That's the victorious St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers. They are headed to Championship Sunday.